now it's time for a very special treat. Early on the show, Mo Gilligan was talking about Slim, the comedian who inspired him the most at the start of his career. So I thought, why not ask him to be a stand-up on the show? So please welcome Slim! <laughs> Wow, how you doing, people? Make some noise. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Now, please, let me ask, where's all the workers? All the workers make some noise. <laughs> OK, that sounds good. All those that work with the public make some noise. <laughs> it never sounds the same. It never sounds the same. I like working with the public now. I like working with you guys. I work three nights a week, 20 minutes a fucking night. Let's have it. <laughs> But I used to be a bus driver for 15 long years in London. Oh, you feel my pain? Thank you very much. I feel appreciated. <laughs> because most people don't appreciate bus drivers. Usually when you mention you as a bus driver, you get insulted the same way. You say to someone, I'm a bus driver, they say, you lot, you're all fucking wankers. <laughs> you see us running for the bus and you fucking drive off. <laughs> you always get the same insult. So I never tell people I'm a bus driver, but I love it. I, you know, back in the day, it was awful. And I'm talking back in the day bus driving. I'm not talking nowadays bus driver. Nowadays bus driver's got no stress. You lot don't even have to talk to him. You lot got this oyster card royalty shit going on. <laughs> just step on the bus and just peeps and you're gone. No good morning, nothing. I'm talking back in the day of the good old money, the change. You remember that? When you had to have money the money fair. And you had people getting on my bus and just throwing the money, staring at me like I'm fucking psychic. <laughs> I thought, do you do that in McDonald's, mate? Just throw your money and look. You know what I mean? What fear do you want, you bastard? <laughs> you had a lot of rude people, though. You had a lot of rude people getting on the bus. They get on and used to throw the money so hard, it would drop in my cab which I thought was quite rude, that you'd get on and throw the money so hard at me. So what I'd do, I'd get that money and I'd slide it back, I would, and it'd go ping, 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 and drop off the bus. And they always got off the bus to pick it up. Soon as they got off the bus, <laughs> See you later, you pussy. <laughs> you've got to be like that, you've got to be firm. You do. Because as I said, bus drivers, I've realised, are not appreciated like other people in a similar job. I'll give you an instance. Um, airline pilots. They're, they're, it's the same, similar job, just different vehicles. Their job is to transport people from one destination to another. Bus drivers from one destination to... Same job, different vehicles. But I've seen people at the airports being all... Ooh, look, there, look, there's the pilot. You lot get excited when you see the pilot and the crew. I see it, everybody gets fucking excited. I don't, I look at them jealous. Look at the bastards. <laughs> Plane takes off, it lands. Everybody gives them a round of applause. I've never understood this shit. Why did you give them a round of applause? Because they landed the plane. They landed the plane. A bunch of them, for those that don't know, a long haul flight usually has a pilot and two co-pilots and a computer. That's four fucking things, yeah? <laughs> that help them take off and land. Big round of applause. Me, a bus driver for 15 years, that if I let go of the steering wheel, everybody dies. <laughs> Can you see why I might be a tad bitter? <laughs> I left eventually. I did leave the buses. I did. I had to. Because of kids. Kids at that. That's why kids can't stand the bastards. <laughs> I can't. And do we have parents in here today? Could you make some noise if you're a parent? <laughs> Control those bastards. <laughs> Control them. You know, because you all see it. Kids, little kids. Primary school age, they get on a bus, sit down, what's the first thing they fuck about with? The bell. You see, the buzzer. You see, you watch them doing it, you want to fuck it out. <laughs> the buzzer, and they try to look cute doing it. You see them, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> ding, 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 smiling. Telling their brother, go upstairs, press the one upstairs. 
eight hours a fucking day. <laughs> Back in the day, parents used to say, Oi, stop that, pack it in, behave yourself. Parents don't say nothing to their kids now. They're on the phone, get away from me, you bastards. <laughs> I thought that was quite rude when kids done that. So I thought, well, if you won't discipline them, I will. Do you know what I used to do? I'd watch them in that big rear view mirror while I'm driving. I'd be driving and watching, waiting for their little head to line up with said post. Yes, I would. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, you know, they're holding on, on my seats, jumping around, happy as fucking Larry. No, as soon as their head lines up correct, quick step on the brake, bang! Get the fuck off her, that. I know, I know. Bloody ding, 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 ding. How about some lumps, 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 you little fucker? How about a brain hemorrhage? And now I understand some of you people are looking at me like, boy, he's a bit harsh. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't. I'm a parent myself. Got six kids. I've got three of them born in the same month. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> now, I noticed, like, the laughter died down a bit then. <laughs> I immediately got judged in here as a black man as well. You racist bastards. <laughs> I'll explain myself. So I'm not judged like a man whore. <laughs> the three born in the same month are all of the same lady. They're different ages, but they're all born in the same month. I mean, that, that baffled me for fucking years. <laughs> How do you get three kids of the same woman, different ages, but they're all born in the same month? I had to take a calendar to work this shit out. I did. I took the calendar and counted nine months back from their birthday. Turns out it's my fucking birthday. <laughs> These are my little birthday presents, don't you know? <laughs> Please don't laugh. When is, my, <laughs> when is my birthday now? I don't want no Punani, yeah? <laughs> she could keep that shit. Expensive fanny right there. <laughs> it is. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been an absolute wonderful crowd. My name is Slim. Thank you!